Hello and welcome you guys to my new lecture. In this lecture I will call about the zeta function. Okay, the zeta function is a very very cool thing. Uh, where did the zeta... maybe if you, you are a little bit interested in mathematics you know the zeta function, it's the big deal. You, can, you could actually earn a million with uh, investigating this function. It's called the Riemann hypothesis and there is a uh, one could win one million dollars. Okay, If you are smart enough and uh, you, you prove the Riemann hypothesis to be true or you find an example that it's not true, you will get a million dollars. So this is the way to become a millionaire with only your brains. Okay. But before we start off with a Riemann hypothesis, we will just look at what the zeta function is. The first big kahuna to, in, to observe the zeta function was Euler. Okay? And what Euler did actually was look at, I will just denote this with z, okay? z of, I will now only use z of x. Okay, you will understand why not the z of x, which means it's a real number. So Euler only studied this function with real numbers and actually it looks like this. Okay. I'm just joking, it doesn't look like this. If you look at my videos, you know that this is the harmonic series, it's not the new function. And actually, there is a big relationship between the harmonic series and this part, because the harmonic series is just a very, very specific value of this function for x equals 1. And x is the power of these, okay? Now, what does this give us okay it doesn't give us a lot until now we didn't, we just look at this it looks interesting so we 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 add 1 plus 1 over 2 to the x plus 1 over 3 to the x plus 1 over 4 to the x plus 1 over 5 to the x and so forth now what is the interesting part about this the interesting part about this is that the zeta function the zeta function has very specific values and I will give you a very interesting one for x equals 2 its value so I will just write down what this means if you take all the square numbers and take their reciprocal so 1 over a square number and add them all up you will not get an infinite sum you will end up having this, pi squared over 6. If you ask yourself why the heck is this equal to pi squared to the 6, you can look into my videos, oh not yet because it's only in German, but if you understand a little bit of mathematics you might get along with that even if it's German. And in that video I'm proving it's called Höhere Mathematik. If you like just uh, comment and I will uh, send you the link to the video. It, um, if many of you guys want to see an American English in, in, in proven English, I might do that. Okay, so just comment and I will try to look if I have time to make new videos on that. And there is actually another thing. If you take x to the 4, so x equals 4, you get 2 to the 4 plus. 3 to the 4 plus 4 to the 4 plus you add them up and now guess what comes out oh, wow this is fucking freaking sorry for using such a bad word but this is very very freaking because we have pi to the 4 over 90 what the heck does this mean why is this there? And actually, if I have time, I will do a video on that and show you actually a very nice proof for all the values to that. And I can actually give you some hint to that. <laughs> if you didn't uh, see that this was 2, this was 4, and actually if this is 2n, we get something with 2 pi, uh, 
uh, two n and some other numbers here but I won't tell you that because I want you to look my videos okay <laughs> so this is the first step so we just had a look at uh, the zeta function we didn't recognize anything very important but we know that we have to work a lot in that okay so just keep tuned subscribe so you can see my other videos they are coming up next okay so in the next video we will actually try to prove a very important thing that one can write the zeta function as a product okay and this product looks very very strange it looks like this oh sorry x minus x and this is all the prime numbers okay i equals one to infinity okay we will prove this and this is called the euler product uh, way to write down the zeta function okay that concludes the lecture and see you